an Africa's national transport movement, NTM, has announced a decision to shut down the international airline and agreement for and also an agreement for the formation of a new carrier has also been reached. The South African government will source 2.2 billion round funding for severance packages. So how did the airline get here? That's the question. I asked aviation experts and medical director of Care Flight Ghana, Dr. Yakubu Aparibu. Uh, I'm not very much surprised about uh, the happenings uh, with South African Airways. Uh, like uh, you rightly said, they've been built several times by the government. And before this pandemic even started, South African Airways was more on a life support. So there, were, there were several airlines like South African, Norwegian, and then Flybe. Uh, they were more of, uh, on the life support kind of, you know, and then uh, this pandemic uh, came and then hit them hard. And, 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 and now uh, they have to go into liquidation. So uh, they actually asked the government again for another bailout. But I think the South African government got tired because like they've given them uh, support several times and it's like, maybe they, their business model or kind of uh, management that is not uh, going on well. So uh, uh, COVID has just taken uh, the final straw. Yeah. South African Airways yeah. is majority state owned. Yeah. And then just like Ethiopian airline, that is one of the yeah. biggest airlines and successful airlines on the continent, yeah. it's owned by the state as well. Yeah. So what makes the South African model so different from Ethiopian Airways yeah. that um, it's not working for them or it's purely managerial issues okay yeah so if you look at uh south african airways we, uh in uh, the past south african airways was the uh, biggest performing airline in africa until ethiopian airlines uh overtook them you know south african airways is uh they have like a bigger fleet even they have like subsidiaries like domestic uh uh, hubs within South Africa, and then they also have like most of uh, the lucrative routes out from uh, outside of South Africa. So uh, uh, their model is pretty much similar like uh, Ethiopian Airlines, but I think South African Airways problem uh, is uh, based purely on management. You know, uh, the profit margins in the aviation sector is very small. So if you don't have like good management, definitely you wouldn't be able to make it. Uh, just also to add something, it's not that, uh, although they had problems, but if this pandemic had not come, they would have survived, they would have still been flying. So I would say their uh, liquidation or bankruptcy is due to this pandemic. South African Airways is part of the Star Alliance Group, where they collaborate with a lot of international airlines for creation, connecting flights and all that. Why didn't that work in their favor? Or is still back to the management? Yeah, so when you look at uh, the Star Alliance Group, it's kind of a network. It's a prestigious network of uh, airlines. And what that does is, uh, uh, they benefit from like they share routes and also share passengers, you know. But they don't share uh, managerial uh, skills. You can't have like uh, uh, Brussels Air management going to take over the management of uh, South African Airways because they are all part of the Star Alliance uh, group. It's not that it's, it was just purely based on network uh, kind of. So that was more like a boost for the airline. But like I said, it has to do with uh, prudent management. Yeah, if you don't have prudent management, no matter how much revenue or lucrative routes you have, definitely you wouldn't be, be able to make it. Yeah. This is certainly not a good news for South Africa and the continent as a whole. What becomes of workers? So, so normally the new airline or new company that is going to take over, uh, over the airline uh, would definitely employ uh, some of the uh, staff of South African Airways. Normally that's what happens. But most of them are going to be given their severance packages and then they will have to look for uh, jobs from, from other companies. So for all that you know, uh, the uh, employee uh, or staff strength of South African Airways probably even exceeded what they needed. So definitely the new company that's going to come will definitely want to stream down the uh, staff strength in order to uh, save some money. So for sure, not all of them are guaranteed of 
employment in the new company. Yeah. And what does this mean for the South African economy? Yeah, so uh, South Africa, I don't think is going to have a major impact on the economy. The, the economy maybe mostly is based on mining and tourism. You know, uh, there are some other airlines like British Airways and uh, major ones that fly uh, into South Africa. So even uh, it was mostly like uh, part of the government. And this is an airline that was even bringing, uh, paying dividend to the government. They were making losses, you know. So I think it's even going to help the government in saving some revenue.